This is just a um, test to see if this video editing software will work for our cataract surgery. You can see us here beginning the uh, case with a diamond side port incision followed by the installation of the epi sugarcane mix which was formulated by the late Joel Sugar, uh, a good friend of mine and a brilliant man. We then fill the anterior chamber with uh, viscote and I prefer to fixate the globe with 0.12 millimeter forceps as we create our main incision with the 2.8 millimeter industrial diamond from Acutome, as you can see here. I then use uh, laner utrata uh, forceps uh, both to initiate and complete the capsularexis. These forceps have a uh, pointed tip which allows you to uh, incise the anterior capsule and then begin the tear and then we uh, complete the tear um, usually uh, with four grasps of the anterior capsule and I prefer to move in a counterclockwise direction as you can see here although of course you can do your capsule rexus uh, clockwise as well. I then use a flat uh, cannula uh, to inject a BSS underneath the anterior leaflet of the capsule. It's important to elevate the anterior capsule as you inject, and I believe less is more. In other words, there's only one injection of the BSS followed by rotation of the nucleus with the um, capsule. You can see here we've got our settings on the FACO unit for sculpting uh, with minimum and maximum set up for uh, both the aspiration and the torsional power. The minimum of the aspiration is 10, the maximum is 25, and likewise with uh, torsional power the minimum is 10 and the maximum is 80. And this just helps um, things move along a little more expeditiously as I engage the foot pedal in positions 2 and 3. Having made our initial groove, we uh, split the nucleus into hemispheres and then rotate 90 degrees. And I just make a tiny notch into each hemisphere, just enough to get purchase onto the uh, segments with the Beckert nucleus rotator and the FACO tip. We're using the 45 degree uh, mini flare here. And uh, once the uh, hemispheres have been separated, we elevate the apex of the segment with the Beckert nucleus rotator engage with the tip and uh, emulsify the nuclear material. We're moving on here towards the second hemisphere, again creating a very small notch, which we engage with the Beckert nucleus rotator in the FACO tip, converting that hemisphere into a quadrant, uh, elevate the apex, engage with the FACO tip in the safe zone towards the uh, central area of the iris. I prefer to elevate slightly away from the posterior capsule to minimize my risk of uh, tearing the capsule. And then when it's time for the final quadrant here, I'll place the uh, nucleus radiator beneath the uh, nuclear segment and the FACO tip uh, to try to uh, prevent the um, posterior capsule from coming forward into the tip. We've now removed the last um, uh, nuclear segment, and we've actually had uh, complete cortical cleaving hydro dissection. There is no remaining uh, cortical material here. We uh, inflate the capsular bag with a provisc, as you uh, can see here, and then uh, we inject a three-piece columnar intraocular lens into the um, capsular bag. I do this using what I call a double clutch technique, which involves two passes with the plunger that implants now within the capsular bag, and all that remains for us is to aspirate the vi remaining viscoelastic material. I use the irrigation aspiration tip to nudge the implant into position, and here we're going behind the implant to remove any trapped viscoelastic that may be present between the posterior surface of the optic and the posterior capsule. There's a tiny little nuclear fragment that we're just teasing into the aspiration port of the handpiece, here with the uh, nucleus rotator, we remove the uh, remaining uh, viscoelastic material. Um, I generally like to spin the implant just a little bit to find uh, whatever orientation seems to allow it to center most completely within the capsular bag with a uh, nice overlap of uh, approximately uh, one half to one millimeter of 
anterior capsule over the edge of the optic. Uh, using BSS here, we uh, hydrate the stroma of the uh, main incision, inject through the side port uh, to make sure we have no trapped pieces of cortex and nuclear material. And the case is complete.